Good evening, everyone. This is Spook, and we are live with another kind of off-schedule stream. It's time for more Dark Souls, and uh, my screen is be misbehaving. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm continuing, but it's... Uh, for some reason, it's in windowed mode. Give me just a moment. Much better. Okay. So I did a little bit of off-screen grinding this morning. Not a whole lot. But I've got my Zweihander up to plus 10. So we're going to roll with that. I'd like to get the Battle Axe leveled up a bit, but we can wait. Although when I let myself get mangled by a Torch Hollow, uh, things aren't looking great. <laughs> Let's, uh... I want to level up a little bit, too. And I think we're going to put it in resistance. By which I mean, no, we're not. Um, so I sort of want to level dexterity for something coming up. But if I do this right, that's not going to be a big problem. There we go. That's how you handle Torch Hollows. Alright, we'll torch some of these guys. But yeah, I, I came through here a few times and just uh, set these guys on fire for some extra souls. And more importantly, um, some large shards. Of course, they drop a green one. Am I carrying any... Whoops. Yeah. I've only got... <coughs> Excuse me. I only have green shards, so I can't really... Uh, update as I'd like. So if you look up there in the corner, whoops, if you look up there in the corner of the screen, we do have a death counter now. Uh, I want to give a kind of a hats off to Envious Kitten for pointing me in the right direction on that one, which that program is not running. Hold on a second. I forgot to do something important. Okay, so I, um, I'm a big dummy, and I forgot to run the thing I need to be able to do this. There it is. Okay, so that looks like it's running. Yep, deaths. So I can also set up a soundboard for this, which is very nice. Uh, I don't have any plans to use that right now. <clears throat> the one thing I want to do is make OBS play video of Dio shouting Zawarudo when I uh, use the time stop mechanic in Tetris Effect. Bonk. So, I am a little apprehensive about this part, because Blight Town is, well, you know, Blight Town. It's kind of infamous for being a dickhole of a place. Well, let's see. Maybe, maybe I won't get ganked by dogs, or bees, or dogs with mouth, mouths full of bees. We do have some infected barbarians, which is always a nice welcome to the place. I kind of like how counterintuitive their design is. You know, they're a two-ton heavy thing, so you expect them to hit like a truck, which they absolutely do. Uh, but they also add a status effect in that they will nail you with poison when they hit you with their club, which is ridiculous. Because usually critters that... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Usually critters that hit hard don't come with status effects. So it's, uh... It's such an unusual design and very Dark Souls when you think about it. Yeah, these little face-eating guys, I do not care for them much. 
granted, they're nowhere near as obnoxious as the uh, the snipers. So I don't have a lot of defense against poison on right now. Basically, <clears throat> I just realized I don't even have the uh, the moss clumps in my inventory. I need to fix that before I make a fatal mistake. Because now that I've gotten this far without dying, I want to see how long I can stay with zero deaths. <clears throat> Okay, so 31 is as good as that's going to get. And then... Oh, that's a heavy. Yeah, that's no good. Okay, so we're going to be mid-rolling for a little bit, but I want to have the poison resist so I don't get completely screwed if I miss a block. Although the shadow gear is just around the corner, so at least that's going for me, which is nice. Oh, hey, we've got a raid from Envious Kitten. Hello, and welcome to uh, all the raiders that they have brought with them. So welcome, I'm doing some Dark Souls nonsense. I hope you enjoy the watch. And once again, thanks to Kitten for giving me this death counter. Or at the very least, pointing me in the right direction. And swing and a miss, because I'm a big dummy. Too many dudes. There we go, bonk. And a bunk. Okay, I heard something screeching at me, but maybe it died. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of emotes. Hmm. I just ate dinner, so I'm my throat keeps clogging up, which is kind of unpleasant. I'm gonna do my best to reduce that noise as we're playing here, but just a warning, I'll probably be hacking and coughing randomly. Okay. Do I have any dudes to worry about? Yeah, there's one. Look at this sneaky little Lie down. Indeed. And I'll probably raid into someone else in our in the uh, Scary Terry community. Or just another small streamer that I happen to like. And... The Shadow Gear. Which is about the second best poison resist you can get. Well hey, enjoy your date, and uh, thanks again for the raid. I kind of had something of a date last night, which was nice. That's the only reason I didn't wind up streaming. Um, I had my friend come over, who is my very sweet kitty, basically. Okay, um... Okay, I see what... I think that's going to take me down to the... Excuse me, the platform where I can get to my bonfire. And there's some dogs. Hi, dogs. You're terrible. Oh, jeez. Oh! No! No, 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 no! Not my face! Not my beautiful face! Well, you know what? I wasn't using it anyway.
No backstab. I will do the backstabbing here. You know what? It's lit. That's, well, now I'll rest. Let's make sure we put my humanity to use instead of losing it uh, when I die. And let's gain a level. I'm going to put one in dexterity. I think I need 14 to use my longbow. But, um... I don't think I'll hit that... Ah! I don't think I'll hit that before I get to the big creepy crawly I need to deal with. Oh, a two for one deal. Take that, flaming dogs. Every time I see those dogs, I remember this exchange uh, from the Dresden Files <laughs> where Harry is with Michael. And Michael is a very devout Catholic. Um, and they see some hellhounds, to which Harry responds, Oh shit, hellhounds. And Harry... <laughs> Michael says to Harry, Hey, come on, swearing. He's like, Oh, sorry. Oh shit, heck hounds. I love that bit. Oh, and I think of it every time I see those little fire-breathing creeps. Can I get down there without killing myself? Maybe? Okay. There we go. Really? Oops, there's another one. God, this place is just crawling with guys. It's worse than Granger. Okay, so this thing's got to go, um, and I do not have a good ranged weapon. I have some bad ranged weapons I can try, though. However, first we got to deal with a sniper so he doesn't cause me any trouble later. So I still have fire bombs, but I don't know if they're going to do enough. Oh, and they don't even hit. Okay, let's... 43 damage, and I have 16 of them. Uh, 13. a little sniper fell off the geometry somewhere. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Okay, we've well, got the broken pyro spell. So, um, I've got Ornstein and Smog's number. Oh, jeez. with the face-eating zombies. Maybe Blight Town is actually Florida. 
Does anyone even remember that story anymore? <laughs> Somebody got high on bath salts and like assaulted someone and just kept trying to eat their face. It was it was definitely a thing for a short period there. Oh, hey, this... Oh, this is the way down. Alright, so we're going to take off the wolf ring in exchange in favor of the rusted iron ring. Because when we get down to the muck, we don't want to screw around with... Uh, trudging through the poison swamp when we could just dash through it. I know this y is technically a sword, but I always feel like I'm clubbing things to death when I use it. I mean, is it even sharp? <laughs> Does it need to be? Uh-oh. Okay, you. You gotta go. That's better. And the Wanderer gear, which is fine. Probably won't use it. pass. This will be easy for all of you. You'll, you just gotta die. Okay, hard part's over. I'm pretty happy about how that went. Haven't died yet, so life's looking good. I can't help but wonder if I did die during an early part of the game. I, I need to go back and check my VODs. But, like, I keep feeling like I might have died during the... during the first part where I tried to do stupid things in the cemetery. But I'm not totally sure. My memory's a little fuzzy. I mean, that was two entire days ago, so <laughs> anything could have happened. There we go. Let's keep some of these babies around. And... Okay. She is being summoned. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Oh, well. Okay, let's recover from that. I did not do that as well as I could have. Um, oh, I didn't attune power within. Y you'd think I had some idea how to play this game. There we go.
And bonk. You know, since I'm already mid-rolling, I can go ahead and just put on shadow gear. Poison resist to 157, that's fairly reasonable. And my equip is still too high, but I'll just have to deal with it. <clears throat> All right, I don't have a plus 10 uh, pyro love glove. How do I have 12 Estus flasks? That that doesn't add up. Okay, I probably got one from Maneater's Spirit, but um, nobody else can can be in another world and kindle a bonfire because multiplayer is disabled. Uh, I'm confused. That could have just right up out killed me. Oh! There we go. So, of course, while I'm here, I'm also going to give um, Ceaseless Discharge a little visit. Because, hey, that's an extra 20,000 souls I don't even have to work at. So why wouldn't I? Okay. And once again... Dun-dun. Okay. Sen's fun house is open. It's time to party. <laughs> okay, about 25 minutes in, we've already bagged Blight Town. Not too shabby. 
Oh, you know what? I'm going to switch to a smaller weapon for this part. Kind of wasteful to hop on that bonfire, but I want to be able to warp to it out later after I get the Lord Vessel. Because you can't warp to the one that I really like to be able to warp to, uh, and that's the one down here uh, at the basically the lower part of Undead Berg, or Berg, um, lower part of Blight Town. sucks. I can't put the levels into learning the uh, anti-poison spell. That's fine. I'm not going to deal with it enough to worry about it. It's nice when you have the option, though. That's for sure. So somebody did a fake metal album cover, well, made a shirt out of it. It's Ceaseless Discharge, seen ahead of me, uh, with, you know, his name written above it in appropriately death metal-like lettering. It's an awesome shirt, but you would be wearing a shirt that says Ceaseless Discharge. And they say if your Ceaseless Discharge doesn't end in four hours, you should consult a doctor. Anyway... <laughs> And away we go. Because I am not fighting this guy in a straight up fight. I did it once, it sucked. Hey, Chapter Z, how you doing? Well, happy to see you. So you're saying if I want to ruin it for you, I should just say everything out loud? Is that how it works? <laughs> I won't do it, but... Okay, so we'll just chill right here. Come on, big guy. <laughs> sure thing. And a bunk. And a bunk. Another bunk. More bonking. Whoops, he died. Easiest 20,000 souls you'll get in the game. Oh, cutscene time. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some fan had come up with a full-length uh, novel for Dark Souls. And I'm sure somebody could do a cringy uh, audiobook reading of it. I mean, I did watch a Let's Play series where two guys took turns reading The Eye of Argon, for God's sake. <laughs> that's, that's unreadable trash. I mean, there's hilariously large numbers of spelling and grammar errors uh, all just all over the thing. <laughs> 